Today we find ourselves once again at a point where wisdom is no longer valued. Instead, we hear that everything is relative. In short, what we think is true, instead of truth shaping our thoughts. SOF 223 The wisdom of the twice-born has spread to every corner of the earth, and caverns of initiation are opened everywhere. But increasingly, through the years, men have declined to undergo the austerities and trials essential to bring them into the clear light of truth. Therefore, the places of initiation decay, and their secrets are lost. Men grope in the dark and try to open a door to which they have no key. If a man has not the courage or the time, the inclination or the ability to sail to a far distant land, then if he would know about that land, he must listen to those who have made the journey. So it is with those who would know the secret of the ages. Men possess creeds of little value because they are unwilling to pay the price of something better. SOF 224 Your brother has no way of explaining his ultimate experience to others, although he has looked upon the face of truth and now understands the purpose of life. What he has seen must remain locked within the heart. Though he no longer has to be satisfied with belief alone, he cannot extend his certainty to others. Yet men forever seek him out, hoping to share with him the wonderful knowledge which has so gloriously transformed his life. This he tries to do within the limits imposed by his own expanded enlightenment. Beyond that, he cannot go. The speaker talks about sharing his experiences within the limits imposed on him by his own enlightenment. What I think that means is the listener must have a frame of reference. They may not have had the experiences to fully translate what the speaker is saying. Words are inadequate. When reading, you might come up to a part that makes no sense. Years later, you read the same part, but all of a sudden it makes sense. Because in the meantime, you gain the insight from an experience, and so have the clue to puzzle out an interpretation of what was being talked of. I call this the language of experiences. Because in order for you to have any hope of conveying your thoughts to another person, you have to first understand where their mind frame is, what has shaped who they are today, in order for them to even begin to understand what you're trying to tell them of your experiences and your worldview.